Hi guys, Paul from ultimatefatburner.com here. Have you ever had stomach bloating and distension after eating, like your stomach sticking way out and you're uncomfortable and you wonder if there's anything you can do about it? Well, today we're gonna talk about digestive enzymes and discuss whether or not they can help. We're also gonna talk about what they are, whether or not it's worthwhile to take them, and I'll even talk about my own experience with a couple of these products. I'll be right back at you in just a couple of seconds. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, so let's start with digestive enzymes 101. What are they? Well, digestive enzymes are chemical activators that break food down into smaller parts so they can be absorbed and utilized in the body. They are found in your saliva, your stomach, in juices secreted by your pancreas, and in the intestines. Enzymes are also found in the food we eat, although cooking destroys these enzymes and renders them unable to aid in the digestive process. Two examples of food-based enzymes are bromelain, which comes from pineapple, and papain, which comes from papaya. Both of these are commonly used as meat tenderizers and are usually included in most over-the-counter digestive enzyme products. So what do we really know about digestive enzymes as far as they pertain to helping us poor folks who have bloating and distension after eating certain types of foods? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. So let's start with the bad news. The bad news is that there really isn't a lot of robust scientific data on what enzymes can do for us, although scientists are certainly looking at them very closely, recognizing their value. And the fact that they are categorized as nutritional supplements means there's very little regulatory oversight about what manufacturers and retailers can say about what they do. As a result, many of the current claims made for these products are not, in my opinion, reflective in reality, and some verge on nonsense. Now, I'm not saying that doesn't mean they're not worth experimenting with because there is some good news as well. For instance, one digestive enzyme called Bino contains an enzyme called Afto <laughs> alpha galactosidase. I knew I'd mess that up. And it's been proven very effective for improving digestion and reducing bloating and discomfort caused by the ingestion of beans and cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and stuff like that. Another enzyme called lactase addresses lactose intolerance, which is more and more likely to be an issue the older we get since we make less lactase as we age. Bloating, cramps, and distension are also symptoms of lactose intolerance. And if you have lactose intolerance, a product like lactate, which provides the enzyme lactase, can help. Papain, the enzyme for papaya I mentioned earlier, appears to help with the digestion of gluten. So it's clear that some enzymes can definitely help with some types of bloating and distension. Now at the beginning of this video, I said I was gonna share my own experiences with digestive enzymes. So I'm in my 40s and about a year or two ago, I started getting more and more bloated after some dinner meals. And I usually like to be finished my dinner by 6.30 at the latest so I can be in the gym for eight. But sometimes I was still so bloated, I couldn't even breathe properly and my workouts were starting to suffer. And it really sucked to be honest with you. So I started to experiment with a couple of different things. I started with probiotics and prebiotics, okay, which I've discussed in other videos, and they did absolutely nothing for me. Then I started experimenting with digestive enzymes, which really worked well for me. Now, they're not a miracle cure, and they, but they certainly do help. And of course, this is not evidence. My experience is only anecdotal at best. I've tried a number of different products. I've tried um, Irwin Naturals Anti-Gas Digestive Enzymes. I've tried Doctor's Best. This is the this is what it looks like. It's not the right container. I ended up losing it. I wanted to put it in this video, but I misplaced the jar. Doctor's Best. Something called Digest More, which I bought from a local uh, health food store. And a product from Weber that I stumbled across at the clearance rack at my local grocery store. The good news is these are not expensive products. I think the Irwin Naturals was the most money at around $15, $16 US. And I only ever take one pill per day and that's with my dinner meal. So they last quite a while. They're good value for money in my opinion. Um, of all of them, I think probably the Irwin Naturals was my favorite. All of the other ones worked well too. Uh, continuing on with the good news, there are very few side effects associated with digestive enzymes and as a result, they are a pretty safe supplement. Of course, if you're taking any prescription medications or have underlying health issues, you should always check with your doctor before adding any supplements 
into your regimen. I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on the internet. I don't play one on TV and I don't play one here on YouTube. So check with your doctor. Having said that, what's the bottom line? Well, unless you have been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, I would suggest trying digestive enzymes as your first choice as a supplement to use to combat stomach bloating and distension after eating. A couple of quick things before I wrap up here. Number one, if you want to see the clinical references I use to support the statements in my video, I've included them in the description below. Number two, if you've used digestive enzymes or you decide to give them a try after watching this, please do let us know how they work for you by leaving a comment below. We would love to hear from you as would our viewers. Number three, if you like this video, please, please, please give us a thumbs up and share it. Of course, that'd be awesome. And of course, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. You'll be updated whenever we post new videos. And of course, you'll earn my undying thanks and appreciation. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again really soon.